1970 Volkswagen Convertible, restoration number two. Clip 12, deck lid repair, September 2011. Wipe the deck lid down with acetone, let dry, and open the deck lid for removal. Remove the two screws holding the rain gutter inside the deck lid with a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the rain gutter. Carefully remove the rain gutter overflow tubes. Clean the grommet and tube with WD-40 and tag and bag the rain gutter tubing and screws in a bag. Clean up the rain gutter with steel wool, then sand with 120 grit sandpaper and 220 dry and wet sandpaper. Later, this piece will be primed and painted gloss black. Note the routing of the tag light wire. Note the tag light wire colors to the connector. Label the brown and blue and white wires as shown, and then disconnect the connector. Pry open the wire clip with a screwdriver, being careful not to pinch the wire, then pull the wire out from the lid. Next, remove the Volkswagen emblem and the tag light holder. Remove the three screw nuts of the Volkswagen emblem with a pair of pliers. Remove the three tail light nuts with an 8mm socket. The studs are M5 by 0.8 by 10mm long. A close up of the emblem screw nuts. Carefully lift off the Volkswagen emblem. Carefully lift off the tag light bracket. Remove the tag light from the bracket with a Phillips screwdriver. Carefully lift off the light assembly. Tag and bag all light assembly parts. Clean up the tag light holder and sand with 120 grit sandpaper, 220 grit dry sandpaper, and 220 grit wet sandpaper. Later, I decided to go ahead and remove the paint. Tag light bracket is shown after two coat of paint remover and the sanding with some steel wool. Remove the tag bracket screws with a 10 millimeter socket. The screws are M6 by 1 by 15 millimeters long. Clean up the tag bracket with paint remover and coat with steel wool. Then 120 grit sandpaper dry, 220 sandpaper dry, and 220 wet sandpaper. Remove the four deck lid screws, two on each side, with a 10 millimeter socket. The bolts are M6 by 1 by 10 millimeters long. Note which hole the spring is connected to the deck lid and squeeze the spring together with a slip joint plier to remove. Remove the hood lock or latch with a Phillips screwdriver. Locate the dent that need repairing. Beat out the dent from the back side with a body hammer. Inspect the front side of the deck where the dent was. Sand the dent area with 120 grit sandpaper. Sand both sides of the deck lid with 120 grit dry sandpaper. Sand both sides of the deck lid with 220 dry sandpaper. Sand both sides of the deck lid with 220 wet sandpaper. Wipe down with dry cloth and apply body filler. Let dry and sand with 100 grit sandpaper and apply another coat of body filler. Let dry and sand with 120 grit sandpaper. Work on this section 5 hours. 
The same procedure shown in the detail in the fender section was used for patching, dent, priming, and painting. After sanding each time, I washed the deck lid down with water, let dry, then wiped the deck lid down with wax and grease remover with one rag and then wiped with another dry rag. Then I mixed the paint for painting the back side. Work on this section about two hours. Back side of deck lid after the second coat of prime painting. After sanding and prepping a third coat of prime was painted on the back side. Work on this section about three hours. Sand the front side of the deck lid and make sure the area between the louvers are sanded well. Wash the deck lid, let dry, then wipe the deck lid with wax and grease remover with one rag and then dry with another dry rag. Then mix paint for painting the front side. Work on this section three hours. I will now describe some of the supplies I may have only briefly mentioned above. Wipe wax and grease remover with a clean rag and then dry with another clean dry rag prior to each coat of paint. Do not use too much wax and grease remover. Wipe and dry quickly and then wait 20 to 30 minutes prior to painting. The paint supplier will give you some strainers and stirrers, but go ahead and buy a box of strainers since you will use two or three each time you paint. Harbor Freight has a hundred for about five dollars. I started with Advantage 89 thinner, but when I changed paint suppliers, I changed to a thinner from a DuPont supplier. I started with MP350 primer, but I was just not satisfied with the cost and coverage, so I changed to a DuPont supplier and ended up using Evercoat Dual Bill primer. Buy a box of Scotch Bright sanding pad from your paint supplier. I use the red general purpose kind for about $15 for a box of 20. Respirator can be found at Harbor Freight for about $15. I purchased one for myself and one for Vic Diabin. My paint gun and detail paint gun shown along with an air separator all purchased at Harbor Freight. After all my practice work, I seem to have gotten worse on my first coat of paint on the front side of the deck lid and hood. So I called in my paint consultant, Vic Diabin, to give me a refresher class on painting. It appeared that I had the spray gun not adjusted properly, paint too thick, held the gun too far from the surface, and I moved the gun too fast. Vic painted two coats on the front side. The work on this section, two hours. Deck lid after four coats of prime on the back side and six coats of prime on the front side. The deck lid was then stored awaiting for final rub down and painting. Work on this section, five hours. Work on this chapter, 20 hours. Hour to date, 201. Stay tuned for progress reports.